Hi, I'm Kate from Ashfords and today I'd like to show you how to warp up your rigid head or loom. First of all, we're going to clamp the loom to the table. Put your warping peg at the other end of the table. The distance that you want your warp, which is going to be the length of your project. So take the yarn you're using for your warp, and we're using some lovely Tekapo yarn. So tie the yarn onto the back stick. And using your reed hook, take the reed hook through the slot and take the yarn up to the warping peg. And then your next one, you'll be going around and under the stick and hook the reed hook through again and up and around the warping peg. And over the back stick this time. You'll be going around and under the stick. So if you want to change colours, just tie that onto the back stick. Tie your new colour on. And carry on. So when you've walked up the full width, take a piece of scrap yarn and tie it around nice and tight. Cut the ends. Now we're ready to wind it on, and you might want a friend to help you with this part. So now we're ready to roll the warp onto the back roller, and so you want your friend, my friend's Libby, to hold the warp and keep it at even tension. And we're just going to roll this around, and when your back stick reaches the roller, just fold it over flat. And then we're going to put cardboard strips, which come with the loom. This keeps the threads separated so they don't lose their tension. Thanks, so now we can unclamp the loom and we're ready to thread the reed. So I find sitting down to thread up the loom is more comfortable and if you just pop it on the side of the table there. So now we're going to thread one of the threads from each slot into the eye to the right of that slot. So if you take the pair, pull one out, put your threading hook through and continue across. So now we're going to tie the ends into groups about an inch wide. And just try and make them about the same length. So once you've tied all your knots, just wind it on so that the knots are not too close to your back stick. And then we're just going to take, I've got some string here and I've doubled it over and I'm going to take it and go over my back stick. Then all we're going to do is go through the middle of each group and around the back stick through the next row. So we're just going around and around basically in a big circle. Okay. 
going the same way through the group each time. So if you start off going through this way, continue going through this way right across. We want the tension to be nice and even across here, so we're just going to peel that and adjust it where we need to. And then when you get to the end, you can just roll that around. So now we need to wind some yarn onto the shuttles. So before we begin our actual weaving, so we need to spread all the threads evenly by simply getting some scrap yarn, double it over, and then I'm going to change sheds without beating, take the same scrap yarn and go through again. And then don't beat and change sheds again. And we'll take one more lock. And now I'm going to beat. And you see that spread the warp nice and evenly and it's got rid of all these gaps here. So we're going to begin weaving. And it's super, super simple. And when you take your shuttle through, if you take it through up by the reed, that's going to be the widest gap. So if you run your shuttle along the reed, there'll be less chance of catching the threads. roll it down, feet, and into the bottom position. So when you're putting your weft through, don't pull it tight and pull it all the way down here because you need, the yarn needs enough length to go over and under each one of the threads. So have it on a bit of an angle through here and then just let it sit. And that won't pull it tight. So through. So on the edges, if you just hold your outside warp thread, that will give you nice edges that are not going to be pulled in. Now you don't need to beat it super hard because when you take the weaving off the loom and wash it, you'll find that the gaps will close up and all the threads will go into their right places. It always looks a lot looser on the loom. And when you're ready to change colours, and just pull it out the bottom and we'll just you'll be able to trim that off later on and we'll start the new colour I've had a few people email and say they have problems with their reeds staying up when it's in the up position. If you have a problem with this, all you need to do is tighten up your warp tension. So when your weaving gets close to the reed, so if you put your reed in the rest position and put your shuttle behind your reed, and then we're just gonna let the back cog off a little bit and then wind the front one on. Just till your weaving is about here. So I just don't want those knots to be poking holes in my weaving, so I've just got some bit of old cardboard here, clip paper. Then we can just carry on weaving. So continue weaving all the way and when you've woven as far up as you can, you can just cut your warp off across the back here behind the reed. I'm 
that's how easy it is to weave on your rigid head or loom. Have fun!